All right, hey. We're here for another unboxing. The Holt Industries Professional Lever Action Grease Gun. Uh, it's all rugged cast aluminum grease head with a 6 inch steel grease pipe and a 12 inch flexible grease hose. Now, yes, the box looks like it got run over by the truck. I didn't do it. This was actually the better looking box of the two that they had on the shelf at My Harbor Freight. This is me, My Harbor Freight, that I have here. Um, this one, um, we're going to see if it even works, uh, especially the rubber hose. Uh, if it works well, then yay. But we're going to unbox it and we're going to see what it's all about. Nothing. Okay. No, just stapled shut. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. It, all, all the bags are stapled shut, so. And as you can already see, they've got the grease zert attachment attached to the hose not very well but now these are just compression fittings uh, they shouldn't need any Teflon tape but we'll see if it's a well built grease gun it shouldn't need Teflon tape it's flowing a thick liquid it's it's not a thin liquid so it shouldn't have a real a big escape path okay I got a standard tube of grease here and yeah, read the warning Ugh. Oh, that's, that's what? Oh, yeah. That is laser etched. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but Holt Industries. Ooh, fancy. Looks like they've already run some grease through it. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Let me turn on more lighting. But, yeah, it looks like the, at least the grease head, yeah, has had, come on, get in there. Yeah, the grease head looks as though it has seen. Now, that's your pressure release so that the this is probably oh yeah it's got the rubber seal a lot of the cheaper grease guns that you saw in the past all they'd have is just a big massive washer uh, they wouldn't actually scrape the side of the tube so by the time that you'd get the rod from here to here you'd still have at least a good two ounces of grease still stuck in your tube so you'd be pulling the darn rod back out and pushing it in and getting it to pack up against the head at least 
they got this. Now, is this going to be... Oh, yeah. Now, that's not that tough of a spring. Um, what I mean tough is to pull it back and lock it into the locking groove. It's, it's not a fight, a real big fight with it. Um, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. On, on the good side, it makes it easier to load tubes and what have you. But on the other hand, it also means that you could be potentially having to whack this thing to get the grease to come up and get up inside the head. That's, that's the big dilemma I see. Okay. So, uh, working pressure 3500 PSI, replace immediately if damaged, for hand operated grease guns only. Okay. But I think it said on the box, or maybe it was on the online. You know that this thing was supposed to push. 7,000 PSI, something like that. Mm -hmm. Nope, guess not. And yeah, it just tells you uh, really how to load it. So, yeah. Okay. Fun, fun. Alright. Tube there, tube there. Okay. Tighten the fittings, finally. Finally. Finally, he's tightening the fittings. Oh my god. Yeah. What do I got here? 9 sixteenths. Oh boy. They go in American. <laughs> and of course that this is this unit's made overseas. I don't even think that they make grease guns here in America anymore. Put it in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't even think the snap-on grease guns are made in America. I think those are Chinese made. Uh, like I said, put it in the comments if I'm wrong. But, uh, and I'm just, I'm going to freaking always be using the hose, so. Now, the one complaint I'm already having with this thing is the short freaking hose. I mean, I get it. You get what you pay for for less than 30 bucks. But come on. The darn thing is what? Wow. Wow. That's actually scary. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's, that's scary. How short that is, actually. But, uh, now I understand why they give you both the tube and the, the, the 45 bent tube that you can put on this way, or this way, or the hose. But... I don't know. I, I prefer the hose for all most all the operations I have. I foresee this thing and I don't foresee <clears throat> oh, that's tight. I don't foresee myself using the metal tube 
but well, you never know. Could be wrong. Okay, so we're going to load the gun up, and this is supposed to be all aluminum. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And, oh, we're going to be playing with purple grease today. Yeah, crack it open like cracking open a beer, and there we go. And then we load it up. And are free. I do like the fact that they actually do give you knurling, at least, so that you can get a grip on it. All right, contact. And And all I'm doing is pushing down on this. Let me see if I can get pushing down on the grease gun as I'm, and it lets out that trapped air. So back down, and we'll see if she squirts grease. six pump we got grease so and it's that nice creamy goodness so well hey I, I know it wasn't much of a video folks but um, my initial impressions you know, for $30, I guess you really can't go wrong with it. Um, you know, the r nice rubber grip, and the, it's got a decent hose. But, you know, f it's 30 bucks. okay? I'm not expecting the world. When I spend $50 or $150 on a grease gun... I expect the world, okay? <laughs> Just the way it goes with me, folks. Oh. Um, I will say this much, the knurling is a little bit more aggressive than a lot of other grease guns that I've worked with that are uh, higher in the price range. So... Yeah, I, I think I like it. Um, so far, I, I think I'd give it my full approval. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.